Well, I think it's uh, an open secret that the health service in 2013 uh, is under stress. It's been well signalled stress. Sir David Nicholson as Chief Executive in 2009, a year before the last election, uh, made it clear that he understood and he felt that the service itself needed to understand that it needed to deliver care uh, from budget of, uh, using budgets that were going to be much more constrained uh, during this decade than they had been in the last. And that's, of course, how it's turned out. The challenge is to change the service in order to use resources more effectively to meet uh, today's needs and to the quality standards that today's patients uh, require. I think uh, in 10 years time if the service is successful, which I profoundly hope it will be, what we'll see is a service where many of the barriers uh, that we've grown used to uh, during its first 65 years will be consigned to the history books and they absolutely need to be. The uh, barrier, for example, that imagines that there is a something called primary care which is dif different from community health care. The barrier that makes an artificial distinction between uh, the nurse based on a GP's practice that supports and helps an elderly patient and the nurse who works in the social care department or the social worker who works in either of those two systems. These need to be much, much more joined up, partly because patients depend on it, the, the different needs of patients require it, and partly because we have the opportunity to make them much more joined up by using not just modern clinical technology but modern information technology to change the way care is delivered. But I think they have to make the case for change. Uh, the ideal of the NHS, the idea around which it was created, that's to say that health and care should be available to those who need support without regard to their ability to pay. That's something that needs to be an enduring ideal and, and unchanging. But we need to change the structures that we use to deliver uh, that ideal so that they're much, much better attuned uh, to the needs of today's patients, which are, uh, who by and large are living longer. Uh, what we're, the challenge is to enable them to enjoy not just a longer life, but a healthier and, and more enjoyable life. Uh, and we need to ensure that the different bits of the health and care system are more patient focused and there's less of a feeling that we're treating conditions. We need to be treating patients to enable them to get greater value out of their extended life. Uh, I'm tempted to use the word conservatism with a small c. Uh, focusing on existing institutions and structures and believing that because they worked in 1948 and the, through the intervening 65 years they can be trusted to deliver the care we require for the future. We need to be true to the ideal of the NHS which is to deliver care based on need without regard to ability to pay and ask ourselves constantly and anew how do we best in the modern world deliver that objective.